Hey guys! I am really excited for today. So I had some Christmas money left and I really wanted to buy some high grade tea. So in this box I have a matcha set because I don't really have one. And this box, the best part, I have a tea from Kyoto. A matcha and three different green teas. So today I'll just do an unboxing and I'll try the tea for the first time. So let's get started. <laughs> it's exciting. Okay, here we go. Uh, I bought this matcha set from Matcha Shop in Germany. And it was 34 euros and it's a really just basic, basic set, but I like it a lot. I have the matcha cup, of course, bamboo whisk, bamboo whisk holder, and the bamboo spoon. Just to have everything completed. And honestly, I'm so amazed how big this cup is. I'm loving it. Eventually, I'll probably have a matcha or Japanese tea, tea cup collection. That would be amazing. I must say the first packet was satisfying, but this one? Where's the tea? I thought they would have wrapped the tea in there. Awkward. So all of these teas I bought off of PBK On, which is a company in Kyoto just to get the best and be able to compare it to like other teas. So the first one's a uh, matcha premium. I was tempted to get the high grade competition one but I thought I'll go for the bit cheaper one and get a few more and the high grade competition one is gonna be for the next try. It's a Kaligana tea tasting set. You get 100 grams each and you get three different types. And the pictures look pretty amazing because they had different different colors as well. So I am excited to taste test them. Let's go. So to start off, I'm going to do the usucha way, the standard way, not the tea ceremony way. Mm. It really smells good. I've had some matcha before, but this one is definitely better. I won't be sifting it because I don't really have a sifter. I really wish I knew if I actually did it correctly. But it's still pretty good. Just a bit more bitter than I thought it should be. I wish I had like some good comparison, but I don't because everything, all of the much as I've made so far, I've made myself. It's getting better the more I drink it. So very grassy. I mean, it's green tea. Oh, it's matcha. It's green. <laughs> so off to the green teas. I'm excited. The first time we went to Japan, we actually bought quite a few Japanese bowls and cups. And I'll be using my Japanese cup. So I think it's a great size as well. This is the Sencha. I love how it smells. Okay, the more I smell the less I can actually smell it. <laughs> and the uh, hojicha. Mmm. Now this one smells like a typical green tea. Or at least like a roasted green tea. Mmm. Also smells really good. And the gyokuro. It's a bit more mild, but it smells hard. Or it smells quite similar to sencha, I find at least. Mmm. Oh, they smell so good. So I wanted to start with the hojicha. I was saying awkwardly. And it requires four tablespoons for 200 mill milliliters. Okay, never mind the tablespoons. I'm just gonna weigh it. It wants seven to eight grams. Six, wow. Yep, this one's really good. It's definitely a bit nutty, which it said in the description as well. It also really kind of has this nice and smooth kind of taste. Mm. 
It's definitely not bitter. I don't taste any bitterness in there, which is amazing too. Hmm. Good tea. So, on to tasting the Sencha. It looks amazing as well. It looks really green. I love the two colors. It's like light green and dark green. I've already added seven grams in here. And I'm just waiting for my water to cool down to hopefully 80 degrees. <laughs> This gonna looks amazing too. It's a very light green. It actually does taste a bit like it smells. Like often you have like all of these cheap teas that smell really good, but then don't taste good. This one is definitely refreshing. And it tastes green. <laughs> it tastes like it smells. It's definitely more mild compared to the tea I had before, the hojicha. Has a really nice aftertaste. And again, it's not bitter. It's absolutely not bitter. Which is pretty amazing. It also tastes a bit like matcha, but like very subtle and like not as intense. Oh, I like this one too. Happy so far. It is time for my last tea. It's the uh, Yokudo. See you guys in one and a half to two minutes. So this one actually looks quite similar to Essentia. It's also light green and dark green. It looks pretty cool. And it's going to be mild. I don't think your temperature was correct. Yeah, it's a bit bitter. Um, so if you have like a higher temperature, it will be a bit more bitter. It extracts the wrong parts of the tea. Uh, the Gyokudo is supposed to be sweet. And it's not, it's not, I wouldn't say it's sweet. So I definitely messed up the temperature. Like the other two teas had like a much more powerful or like distinct taste, which is kind of, I'm kind of missing it here. It still tastes very good, but like I said before, compared to the other two, it's much more mild. So if you're wondering which one's my favorite, I would say the Hojicha or the Sencha. Those two would definitely be my favorite. If you want really good tea, or at least I thought it was really good tea, I haven't had better tea so far, so this is really good tea for me. I would definitely recommend buying it from Hibikian. They have pretty good tea, and I am definitely excited to I have more tea soon. Now, of course, if I do buy more tea, I'll make another taste test video. So, yeah, I was definitely pretty excited to test out all these teas. And I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe I got you guys excited to test out some green teas because these were pretty awesome. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>